All right, so today I decided uh, I'd try and see how the forest miner can do online. Um, I know when I was building this car, I used the stock engine. Of course, the stock engine is the only thing you can really use in B class. Honestly, you don't want to use the motorbike engine. Um, I was thinking when I was making this tune that it was going to be really, really slow. But surprisingly, uh, it's not bad. It's not great. Oh, shoot. I've got to click on the window. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. Well, let's see how much my slow start will affect my ability to catch up. It's not bad, though, this car. Yeah, um... Oh, 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 oh. Well, I was an idiot. Okay. Well, you know, this car weighs like almost nothing, so I thought I can be a little late on the brakes, but I can't be that late. The handling on this thing, though, because it is it does weigh like almost nothing, it actually is pretty nice. Pretty like, snappy. They can be a little floaty sometimes, which is a little precarious. Oh, is it storming? Oh, it's storming. Alright, these guys are like ramming each other. Goodness. You know, ramming just slows yourself down, I hope you know. You're just slowing each other down there. Ooh. Ooh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> be careful there. Excuse me, sorry. I don't mean to push you. Uh, uh, the wall a little. Let's try my best not to hit these guys. Okay. Ooh. How do you not get a time penalty from that? Okay, okay. Be careful. Oh, I don't want to bump these guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's really tense because I don't want to ram these guys, you know. Oh, okay, just a little bit of a tight turn. But as you can see, even with my uh, bad start, this car still caught up pretty well. So even with a stock engine, without a meta engine, this thing is still pretty fast. I'm pleasantly surprised by it. Okay. Alright, so that's a dub. Now if somebody came in here with a meta car, with a meta build, meta engine, I'd probably lose. But against the average player of FH5, it's really not bad at all. Now what race was this? Was this race 2 or 3? wonder. Yeah, it was the final race. Well, I'll just give it another, give it another go there. So, uh, let's see how long it'll take me to find uh, for the next ra races to load. Oh, man, I'm still shaking off the nerves a little there because I uh, really didn't want to ram those people. Um, I was trying my hardest not to run into them, but. Ugh. Sometimes it happens. Rubbing is racing. Oh, now it's time to see who we have. If I see a scout, I'm just going to be like, well, you know, there goes my champ. But, we'll see. 
Also, I'm still so happy about that uh, vinyl of my face. I'm putting that vinyl on like all of my new cars now. Okay. Oh, it's one of my favorite races. I'm... But that soon is a meta car. But uh, I don't know about the other two. Is the Subaru good? Almost taking a Levante to a dirt race. I mean, I admire your courage, my friend. No, I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna start redlining before I reach the turn up. Turn up here, so I'm going to probably fall into second or something before we get to the turn. Oh, don't want to hit that wall, and I hit it, and I hit it, I hit it anyway. I said I don't want to hit it, and I hit it. Oh, and there he goes. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. I can hear the sound of that meta VVT in there, out of the car. Powerful engine. Great engine. I'm just going with stock. I don't know why when they brought these cars over from FH4 they couldn't have put the VVT into, into these cars. Like the Traveler the Travelers got added a few series ago, and they still just have the same old engines from FH4. Which, at some point, I want to try the Travelers online as well. May not be as good as this car, though. We'll see. I can. Don't need a break for that turn. Do I need a break for this one? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, just a little. <laughs> oh, for the final stretch. what the time will be for this. I think I made a... Didn't I make like a mistake or two in this race? I don't remember. Maybe I'm thinking of the last race. But... I wonder what my time will be. 302, 303, 304, 304. Okay, that's not too bad. I think... Ideally, I'd want like a 301 or something. But... I mean, I hit that wall at the beginning. So... I think this 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 guy's gonna. Oh man, it's the Maser Maserati, the Levante still. The other guys quit. That's crazy. I didn't expect the Datsun to quit. I know that some people, I think some people can get a uh, sub three minutes on that uh, course, but yeah. Um, once again, uh, 
Shout outs to Alfonso for making my face a forts of vinyl. He's wood paneled. Oh, that's sick. I love his wood paneled Levante. That's great. I'm going to make a wood paneled car at some point. I had one in FH4. FH4, I think it was the uh, Lotus, something or another. It was a Lotus, I remember that. I think it's one of their old ones, like from the 60s. I think it's that one that was like a kit you bought back in the day. But I can't, for the life of me, remember what the name of it is now. Somebody, if you're watching this, you can leave a comment and remind me what that Lotus is called. I don't know if it. Oh, it's the 11, right? It's the, like, I think I always called it the 7-Eleven, but I think it's just called the Lotus 11. Which, I don't know that what the significance behind that name is. I don't know what it means. Okay, so this is a freebie race, because that Levante is not going to keep up with it. Um... So enjoy me just kind of cruising, I guess, for three laps. Now, I don't know what exactly what a good lap time for myself would be on this course. Um, I never did. I don't think I've really tested this course before and rivals before. Which is a shame because I actually really love this one. This is one of the most fun dirt races in FH5. I know when I first started playing FH5, I was saying that the dirt races in this game aren't as good as the ones in FH4, and you know, there really are some fantastic races in FH4, but the more I play these, the more I, I grew to love them. So. And really, B Dirt Speeds is perfect for the streets of... Guanajuato, or whatever, because you're not going crazy fast. I think everybody hates, like, A-class street racing in Guanajuato. You know, the tunnel run. That that race is uh, a bit hectic, to say the least. Some people love the insanity of street I can respect that. I don't even have to take the ideal lines for this race to win it. I can just take, like, easy mode lines and break more. It doesn't really matter. The Levante is nowhere in sight. He may even get DNF'd, honestly. Because there's a lot of technical turns. And he's in such a heavy machine. Again, I really admire his bravery for bringing that thing to dirt racing. Um, it's really more of a cross-country car. Like, if I was to race in any vans or SUVs online, I'd be like, okay, I'm not even going to bother trying to bring that to a dirt course. I'd just totally go uh, cross-country. Cross country, though, the thing is, cross country racing in Phase Five is kind of boring because, uh, well, not just because like the courses are bad, but mostly because B class scouts just ruin it, like literally beyond broken. Uh, people complain about the bone shaker in A class, but the scout in B class is so much worse. It's unfair. It's completely unfair, and. Hot cross country.
And don't get me wrong, I love the Scout. I think it's a cool, sick car. But due to how the EI system was coded in this game, I mean, it's just... Yeah, I mean, it's just absurd. Unreasonable how... Uh, how fast the Scout is. Alright, so what was my best lap time? Maybe later I'll take one of my faster cars to uh, Rivals and try and see what a, a good time for me is. This is just about a 149, slightly less, you know, a high 148. Uh, yeah, and that guy in the Levante, <laughs> a two minute lap time, that's. he's getting DNF'd. I'm sorry, man. Maybe I didn't need to uh, kind of try hard as I, as I did. But I just want to get to the next race. Um, we'll see if anyone joins for the final race. If I don't find anyone interesting, I'll just go offline and I'll try and see if this thing can beat Unbeatables, because I'm pretty sure it can. I'm pretty sure Unbeatables wouldn't stand a chance against this thing. Somebody's here. Oh, a Civic. Okay. So this is going to be tough. If this guy knows how to drive a Civic, um, Civic is meta. Good, good vehicle. Some people, I remember, actually I haven't uploaded these races from online a little while ago. Some people just literally just race in the Civic all day. Like, they don't ever step outside their comfort zone and try the whole breadth of cars that this game offers. They're very unique and different and fun. I think that's kind of sad, you know? Like, winning is the number one thing for them. You know, just enjoying a wide variety of cars doesn't matter. To you know, it's kind of sad to me. Like, they don't really get what Forza is about, really, to me. I guess, you know, Forza can mean different things to people. I guess some people, it is just a, a competitive game, like, I gotta win type of game, but, I don't know. I see this as more of a casual racing game, personally. Then again, you know, when you get down to it, any game can be as competitive or as casual as you want, really. Very few games that, like, you can't be casual about, like, the Souls games, I guess. Those types of difficult action games. Okay, I gotta watch out for this turn, because I always screw this up. In fact, uh, in that footage I was talking about, I did this race and I royally screwed that turn up. Uh, I got like a big time penalty. I'll have to upload it sometime. It was really difficult. I was in a Plymouth Fury and 
beating Honda Civics and the Honda Fury, uh, it's not, that's no picnic, I'll tell you. Oh, not gonna bump the wall. Nope. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, triple crown for me. Beat a Datsun, beat a Honda Civic, uh, beat a Levante. Although that's not an accomplishment, but, you know. It's a good car. Now, I guess I'll hop offline and, uh, see how it does against the unbeatables. Huh? This car is, this car is handling is just phenomenal. Um, I tried it out in FH4 as well, and it wasn't bad in FH4, but in FH5, handling is just so good. It also feels less floaty in FH5, and I can't figure out why, because it seems like, according to the stats, it should be more lifted than FH4. Uh, I'll just ignore that, but in FH4, it seems like you can according to the stats anyway, should be lower to the ground than in this game. But it doesn't feel like it. It really doesn't feel like it. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have... Oh, shoot, this is a... Oh. Ah, I started the championship. Hold on a second. Uh. Okay, I already, I already did this championship. Uh, I'll upload footage of that eventually. Uh, I'm leave that. Yes. Okay. Oh, I like that paint job there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is unbeatable difficulty. Oh, it's gonna- oh, you freaking heck. What the heck? You just, like, e-boned me there. But that's okay. I am going to use the drive guitars as, uh, brakes when I can. Now, it may be challenging because, um... Okay, okay, I'm just gonna smash into these MFers here. Okay. Smash. Okay. <laughs> you know, you do what you can to beat these cheating drive guitars. You know? Go full dirty racer mode, because the drive guitars, who cares? Look at that turn. That's an amazing turn. Thank you. Thank you for being my break there. Okay. So this isn't okay. So see this you can tell this car isn't OP because um I didn't get the drive guitars in the first lap. Right. So it's not meta. But I think I'll be able to get the drive guitars nevertheless. Okay, let's just smash into this guy. Oh, take that. <laughs> Freaking Datsun. That is a Datsun, right? Pretty sure it is, yeah. I never can remember if the Datsun belongs to the Cult Cars category or if it belongs to the uh, Rare Classics. Oh my gosh, is, am I going to take until the third lap to catch up to the... First place driver tar? Maybe. It's just insane how fast these things are. Okay. No, no, no. I got him. I got him. Out of my way. No. I did have to wall ride and stuff. But 
that's what you do. That's what you do when you're against these guys. Oh, shoot. I don't know why I did that. As in, literally, it felt like my car had a mind of its own for a second there. I don't think I'm going to be able to break away from these guys at any point. Now, i got to hug this checkpoint tightly because the Gravatars are fans of dive-bombing the player. So I'm going pretty tight around these checkpoints, knowing that if I leave the drive tires any space, they'll dive bomb me. Oh my god, listen to that. He's like caught up so... Oh man. There's how I would actually take that turn online. Uh... There's how, it, yeah, it's exactly so. With these drivatars out of the way, I can actually take my lines like I would on them. Oh, that's a sick turn. Oh, that's so, by the way that it just drifts. Oh, that's amazing. And now I just gotta beat the drivatar in a drag race, which is not easy because they're like busted. But I think I got them. Yeah, so there you go. Um, overall, Mars Miner, a really good car. Considering it's on a stock engine, I cannot believe that this is a stock engine car. It's so good. So, yeah, I highly recommend driving this. Also, if you want to try my tune, uh, let me just look it up real quick. Uh, here. I gotta manually type in this, uh, my gamer tag here. Okay. Here it is. 174-686-174. So, yeah. Um, give it a shot. It doesn't have a great top speed, but it doesn't need to. I mean, it's dirt racing, so... Just really, really fun, good, pretty fast, surprisingly fast for a stock engine. That's all I got to say. Thank you for watching.